Welcome to my channel. From Farab, Kazakhstan came Al Farabi, a physicist, philosopher, and Islamic legal thinker. Al Farabius, Al Farabi, Farabi, or Abu Nasser, are his names in the West. Al Farabi is a philosopher who is frequently referred to as the second master after Aristotle, who is referred to as the first teacher during the Middle Ages. He played a key role in translating the ancient Greek writings. Numerous well known thinkers, including Avicenna and Maimonides, have been influenced by his treatises and comments. Al Farabi rose to fame both in the West and the East thanks to his works. Al Farabi was born in 872 to a Persian father and a Turkish mother in Farab, Kazakhstan. Abu Nasser Muhammad ben Al Farak Al Farabi is the full name of Al Farabi. He has demonstrated exceptional intelligence and considerable talent in practically every topic he has studied since he was a little child. Al Farabi received a basic education in which he studied music, the Quran, language, literature, and the religious sciences fic, interpretation, and hadith. After that he spent twenty years studying in Baghdad. Al Farabi visited the city of Haran in northern Syria in 920, which at the time was the epicenter of Greek culture in Asia Minor. After that he studied philosophy with Johanna ben Jailad, a well-known Christian philosopher. Al Farabi continued his voyage to Damascus in 940, when he met Saif al-Dola al hamdanid the district chief of Aleppo, and a noted supporter of the Shiite imam. Greek philosopher Al Farabi was a skilled commentator. He didn't know Greek, according to historians, but he was familiar with Plato, Aristotle, and Plotinus writings. Al Farabi is regarded as the second teacher in the field of philosophy, following the first teacher, Aristotle. His capacity for comprehending Aristotle's ideas earned him the moniker. Al Farabi is credited as being the first Muslim philosopher to make an effort to apply classical Greek political theory to Islam and to make it accessible in the context of religion. Al Farabi claimed that people are citizens, which is one of the prerequisites for the establishment of a state. It is founded on the idea that, because we are social beings, we cannot survive alone and must rely on other people. After that, a community will develop into a nation as a result of long human relationships. Al Farabi considered the state or city to be the most autonomous and capable component of society, able to provide for basic needs. The state must also have the ability to control public order because citizens decide the nature, style, and kind of a state their existence is crucial. The state is divided into five categories by Al Farabi the main state, the state of fools, the state of the wicked, the state of change, and the state of heresy. Al Farabi passed away at the age 
of eighty and nine hundred fifty after spending a considerable amount of time traveling and devoted to philosophy. Al-Farabi passed away during a time of political unrest and upheaval for the Abbasid Caliphate. The writings of Al-Farabi Al-Farabi left behind a number of works that were compiled during his lifetime as a prominent scientist in the Islamic world and even acknowledged by Western countries. The following are some of our well-known Farabi's works in philosophy and various other disciplines. 1. Madana al-Fadila 2. al Musiki al-Kabir Aika 3. Isha al-Aika Agradia 4. Jawami al-Siyasa 5. Kalam fi al musiki isha ulam wa tarif bai. Thanks you for watching my channel.